guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know, and today I'm doing another macrame tutorial for you all. So I've been really wanting to make a pair of like macrame sandals, and I was at the thrift store last week and I came upon these guys, and I thought they would be perfect for a thrift flip, um, with macrame. So the reason I thought these would be great is just because they have a really simple design and I want to put like macrame across the band here and the fact that the band is white is perfect because it'll go with the white macrame cord, you know? So yeah, enough dilly-dallying, let's get to it. Okay, so obviously you need your shoes. You also need some macrame cord. I will link this down below. It's the same cord I always use. And so I want the macrame to cover probably like an inch-ish off of each end of this band. And I'm gonna take that length and multiply it by four. And then I need enough of these for the whole span of this band. So I'm gonna get cutting. Okay, so now I have all of my ropes cut, and what I'm gonna do is take an extra string and place it horizontally along these guys, and I'm gonna do some double half hitch knots to just connect them all together. And I especially wanna make sure that I'm leaving like an inch of extra fabric on the edge here because that's gonna be like a frilly bit on the top of this shoe. I'm also gonna tape this string down just so it's a bit easier to work with. Okay, so I have all of my double half hitch knots all ready to go. Now I'm going to start with a section of four strands and I'm gonna do some square knots. I'll do this nice and slow so that you can follow along, hopefully. There we go, and I'm actually gonna do four of these in a row. And now just do the same thing for the next three sets of four strands. Okay, and now I'm going to take the center two strands from one of these rows, and I'm actually going to feed it through this little tiny hole up here. And then I'm going to pull it tight, and now we have this cool little ball thing. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> And then just to make sure these stay secure, I'm going to do one last box knot at the very bottom here. Just like that. Okay, so these strands are getting pretty short, but I think we'll make it because we just have one last step. We're gonna take one more strand of cord and we're gonna do the same thing that we did at the top and just do some double half hitch knots along the bottom. Okay, so we have all that finished. I'm also going to just add a little simple knot on the end of each of these strands just to make sure none of those knots come undone. 
Cool, and I'm going to trim these edges. And now the last step of this section is just to take a comb and brush out these strands so that they're more frilly. Now we gotta actually attach it to the shoe. So I'm gonna be using hot glue to attach the macrame and I wanna make sure that it's very sturdy and actually sticks. So I'm gonna use some sandpaper and rough up this strap cause it is quite smooth. So I just got some 150 <laughs> bare wood sandpaper that I've used for other things obviously. And I'm just gonna take a piece of it and go at it. All right, you probably can't tell much of a difference, but it definitely is a lot rougher. Okay, now I'm just gonna load this bad boy up with hot glue. Okay guys, I think it's so cute. I can't wait to try it on and see how it looks. And then obviously I have to do the other shoe still. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these macrame sandals with me. It was a really fun and super easy, straightforward thrift flip. So I'm really happy with how they turned out. If you like this video, you might like my previous macrame video where I turned a mirror into a macrame mirror. So go check that one out. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.